Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Yeah, you think these bars can hold me? You hear me? Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good forcing. Do this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Now 
you see where it gets you. We really should get out of here. Calm yourself, woman. Like I said, I need to see some.
Good shooting, Morgan. Whew. I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Gotta be wild, all right. Wild? Making a house? Oh, in... Wild? Making a house? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah, we ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. Whoa! I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, mm. you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Okay, girl.
People like him, they sure smoke my kin. Howdy. Nice to see you. That's quite a song. I hope you learned your lesson.
now. You chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Yeah. Come on, girl. Let's go, girl. <laughs> there, girl.
Lily Millet, you know where she is? Not sure, but I, I think I saw her with Cooper earlier. Where can I find her? I don't know. I need to find a ranch maid here called Lily Millet. You know where she is? Nah. You know where Lily Millet is? All right, it's time for you to go now. Yep. See you around. Hello, mister. Man, what might you be wanting? Well, let's try that again, feller. Hello. Okay, hello again. Lily Millet. She's a ranch maid here. You know who she is? Lily? Just over there by the store with Cooper. It's gotta be such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved... I Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper! Give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn money. Son of a bitch. It's a debt. Got... Oh, damn it. Ain't my concern, no, sir. Down the line. Help! Help! I need help! You ain't scaring nobody. All right. I won't say a thing. No one believe me anyway. Untie me! Untie me! Oh, Just shit! in your day, is it? You're a son of a bitch.
think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Happy to assist you in a moment. Costing you a pretty penny to repay your debt. Thanks for your assistance. Girl?
How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Hey. Just... Hey. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Uh, gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. <laughs> Follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Sure. All right. Let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, 
wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure.